The G5 Plus might sport a new look with a dual camera setup, but underneath it's powered by the same chipset from its predecessor, the Snapdragon 625. So in this video, let's pit the G5S Plus against the Redmi Note 4 in a speed test and a day-to-day -day usage scenarios. Hey guys, Sundar here from C4E Tech, let's get started. Do note that we are using the 3GB variant of the Redmi Note 4 and 4GB variant of the G5 S Plus for this test. Both the phones are connected to the same wireless network and there are no apps running in the background. Let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up Subway Surfers. Both phones loaded in almost the same time. The Moto G5 Plus finishes the performance round in a minute and 2 seconds. And the Redmi Note 4 finishes the round in a minute and 10 seconds. Moving on to memory management. Both the phones reload Temple Run 2. The Redmi Note 4 did not reload Temple Run in our previous speed tests, guess recent updates might have brought this issue. The Redmi Note 4 has Subway Surfers in memory and finishes the test in a minute and 46 seconds. The Moto G5 Plus takes 3 seconds more, finishes at a minute and 49 seconds. Let's now move on to a heavier test. We have included a heavy game in the list and are also gonna render a video. Let's fire up Adobe Premiere Clip and get this video ready to render. Note that I'm using the exact same video here, a 1080p 60fps clip. Slowing it down to 25%, let's now start the stopwatch. The G5 S Plus loads Asphalt 8 faster and takes the initial lead. The Moto G5 S Plus finishes the round in a minute and 47 seconds, and the Redmi Note 4 is done rendering the video. And the Redmi Note 4 finishes the round in 2 minutes 5 seconds, 
the G5S Plus starts reloading apps from Instagram. And the Redmi Note 4 starts reloading from Skype. Surprisingly, the Moto G5S Plus has Asphalt 8 in memory and finishes the test in 2 minutes 34 seconds. Let me speed things up to save you some time. And finally, the Redmi Note 4 finishes the test in 3 minutes 34 seconds. It's worth noting that it reloaded all the apps from Skype. Let's now boot the phones up to check the boot timings before wrapping up. In light usage, the Moto G5S Plus failed to keep Temple Run 2 and Subway Surfers in memory. However, in the heavy usage round, the Moto G5S Plus managed to keep Asphalt 8 in memory. The Redmi Note 4 won the light usage round with Subway Surfers in memory with just 3GB of RAM. So that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, do this to make sure you get notified each time we upload a new video. Do drop a comment down below if you think we should test the phones out again once we have a stable version of MIUI 9 on board the Redmi Note 4. And if you are a fan of stock Android and love Google's optimization tweaks, give this video a share. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Sundar from C4e Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.